Need an excuse to unwind? Today is National Relaxation Day. It's a day to focus on stress relief and self-care for a clearer, calmer mind. And in today's Your Healthy Family, I'm talking to the David Lawrence Centers for Behavioral Health in Naples about why it's so important to dedicate time to relaxation. Every year for the last 38 years on August 15th, we celebrate National Relaxation Day. We have an entire day dedicated to this. That kind of tells me that people need that reminder to slow down. Absolutely. We think about our world today. It is so fast paced. We are always in that heightened state of stimulation and go, go, go. And Jessica Liria, the prevention and education manager for the David Lawrence Centers for Behavioral Health in Naples, says it's important to sit back and take in the present. She says relaxation is more than just sitting on the couch watching Netflix. That's great. Don't get me wrong. That's great if that's somebody's way of truly relaxing and coping. But we want to look for ways that are enhancing our wellness and really enhancing an area that could use a little bit more support. She points to the eight dimensions of wellness, emotional, spiritual, intellectual, physical, environmental, financial, occupational, and social wellness. If we're able to think of ways that we can enhance those sections of wellness, ways that we can play into that self-care, into ways of coping with our emotions. We can help all dimensions of wellness really thrive. For example, if you're struggling with emotional wellness, maybe you're more frustrated or irritable. What am I doing to help that part of my life? Am I looking for the connections and the people that I trust and being able to talk to them. Is it something where I'm taking that day to unwind at the beach and just really de-stress? If it's your intellectual wellness, taking time to read a book or listening to an educational podcast to stimulate your brain while relaxing. You get the idea. Everyone has their own way to kind of relax and unwind. And so it's really tapping into that and figuring out what that is. It looks different for each and every person. What will bring me some joy? What will bring me a little bit of peace and calm and happiness? So whether it's sweating it out, listening to music, taking a long, hot shower, whatever it is, today is the day to dive into that realm of relaxation because the consequences. What kind of mental health impacts can that have? It's kind of a funny analogy, but if you think about your whole day, you're breathing a breath of air into a balloon every time you feel frustrated, irritated, angry, sad, scared. You're breathing those breaths into that balloon and you're not letting any of that air out. And what happens is over time, that balloon gets bigger, bigger, bigger until boom, it pops. So it's important to pay attention to how full is my balloon and using self-care to let some of that air out. Really does help us to manage those emotions and keep them from becoming too elevated to where we're causing additional problems in our lives. And listen, I've felt it too. Sometimes I spend so much of my day up here, it's hard to bring it down here. And it can impact sleep and bleed into other parts of our lives. That's why it's so important to give our brains time to unwind and relax. We just need to make sure we do so in a healthy way. Things like drinking too much to relax can put you at risk of more harm than good and won't help you with self-care in the long run. So give yourself some time to actually relax today. It is National Relaxation Day after all, or at least do so in in the next few days. You probably need it. For your healthy family, I'm Lisa Greenberg.